Hello everyone, this is Varsha and you are watching the series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. So once again, we are here with you all to discuss the success story of one more achiever of our and this time we have with us Dr. Suleiman Ladhani, who is the chest physician at Prince Ali Khan, Walk Heart, Sefi and Masina Hospitals. Being in this esteemed and noble profession, Dr. Suleiman carries more than 20 years of experience in postgraduate field of respiratory medicine and tuberculosis. He is the head of department of pulmonary medicine and recognized teacher for College of Physician and Surgeon. He has been the Secretary Maharashtra State Anti-Tuberculosis Association under patronage of Governor and Chief Minister of Maharashtra for three years. He is the member of Institutional Review Board at Prince Ali Khan Hospital. He was also a governing board member at Prince Ali Khan Hospital and director with Aga Khan Health Service India for 10 years. He is attached to Walk Heart, Sefi and Masina Hospitals. But before we actually start the conversation with him, let's quickly have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Sir, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? All good, sir. Thank you so very much for asking and joining us today. Before we actually start the conversation, I'm very keen to know that how did you actually land up to the idea of you know choosing this particular profession for yourself? Basically, I have grown in an environment where I have a part of my family who have been in this esteemed profession, and I always used to uh, hang around with them, go to hospitals and that atmosphere, the way the patients were being treated, the satisfaction on their face, the curiosity and the idea of serving the patients and the community is something which inspired me to get into this profession and it became a passion and somehow I followed it up and uh, with God's grace here I am today. Uh, lovely sir so uh, you know nothing comes that easy to us and i'm pretty sure that you must have also had certain challenges in your professional journey so far so if we can please talk about those challenges and also the overcoming so to say. Uh, basically the challenges are a part of this profession it starts when you want to enter into this profession the first requirement is that you need to have a good score good marks to get into a good college that's where your challenge and your journey starts so luckily putting in the hard work i was able to uh, get into that aspect it was not easy but somehow we managed and got into the profession then second challenging was to get into the post graduation part where uh, i specialized into my uh, uh, specialization into chest diseases and illnesses for uh, tuberculosis and lung disease that was a challenge by itself with such a stiff competition to get into this specialized field after that the day-to-day -day dealings understanding the patient perspective the relative perspective of treatment trying to handle them and then came uh, the biggest challenge couple of years back in the form of covid this is something which was the biggest challenge as a medical professional i faced in my career for two years uh, dealing with patients, the helplessness of patients, the doctor's helplessness, the relative's helplessness, family pressures, dealing with uh, the family members and at the same time you know, valuing people, small things in life, you know, <clears throat> facing them with uh, courage, getting that mental 
stamina to face it was really really challenging because physically and mentally it really drains you out for continuously serving so that was the biggest challenge uh, that i have faced in my career but somehow we have managed to uh, get it across and with god's grace uh, yeah, whatever challenges apart from that have been small and i think uh, have been able to go through it right sir so you know uh, talking about the future everyone do have certain plans for themselves so if you can please share a bit of you or your plans with us as well uh, basically uh, i have also been part of uh, ngo registered ngo as you must have heard of aga khan health service india i was on the board of directors for them and also i have been part of uh, community health i have been part of uh, a board of directors on aga khan health service india and i have also volunteered services being a chair of that organization where uh, we go into the community and you know try to uh, uh, educate them about preventive illnesses and uh, try to get them themselves to check you know earlier so that we can diagnose things much better so i want to continue with my journey uh, in preventive health trying to encourage people to look after their health better at the same time i want to continue upgrading my skills uh, as you know you have to keep learning if you want to stay afloat in this uh, profession try to build up my skills acquire new knowledge and continue to serve the community and people to the best of my ability and as a moral obligation i think a person always have to give back to the community because it's with their support that you always able to move forward and i would like to continue continue my journey on the same right sir and i wish you all the success for all these plans of yours as well okay uh, so now moving ahead sir uh, here comes the question that you know personally love to ask our body that is uh, what are your feelings on winning this man of excellence award first of all i would like to thank uh, for selecting me for this award it's really uh, very i feel very humble and uh, obligated to get this award and it somehow gives a sense of validation confidence motivates you to keep on continuing doing the good work and at the same time helps you uh, you know uh, learn the journeys of the other colleagues who have got this award and it really gives you a sense of validation a sense of comfort a sense of motivation and inspires you to really work better and uh, keep on doing what best you can do to serve the world. right sir and i once again congratulate you on this achievement of yours thank you so much okay sir so now moving ahead though we know that you already are into a profession which is you know doing a great work for the society but still would love to know from you that apart from this uh, you know profession of yours are there any other csr activities that you are involved in apart from clinical profession i also i'm also into community health services where uh, i was also a part of maharashtra state anti tuberculosis association and the patronage of governor maharashtra where we worked for tuberculosis and trying to find out ways to tackle this menace apart from that i have worked and i'm done research where we have worked with world bank i have done research with indian council of medical research on uh, prevention and controlling non communicable disease trying to find out best preventive measures to control this uh, illness which is affecting a large population as i said work with world bank on maternal and child health uh, we are also uh, into clinical research where we try to work on illnesses and try to see what best solutions we can find to tackle them what works best and how best we can help control it to get the best possible solution to tackle this diseases and provide the best treatment uh, to the community so uh, and other apart from that i have been on the board of directors of aga khan health service india i have been a volunteer uh, with aga khan health board india and i also been a chairman where 
we work in the community all over India, uh, tackling maternal and child health, uh, prevention of non-communicable diseases and infectious diseases within the community. Lovely, sir. So now, uh, last but surely not the least, uh, what message or mantra you would like to give to our younger generation to become successful in their careers? My message to my to the younger generation is to never give up on your dreams. Dream big, never give up, and that's where the route starts and your journey begins, where you try to move ahead in your career. Be patient, have faith, and trust God, and put in the hard work. I'm sure the success will always come. It has its own time. Never compare yourself with others. When you work hard and if you work with passion in the right direction, with right faith, success will always be yours. So never give up and keep dreaming and always have passion and faith and most importantly patience and success will definitely be yours. Wonderful piece of advice I must say sir. So thank you so very much for joining with us today. It was lovely talking to you and I wish you all the success for all your future endeavors and may you continue to inspire us the way you are doing. Thank you so very much for your time. Thank you, thank you so much. It was my pleasure.